Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, just like how special numbers have special names like pi and e, three special vectors have um, special names. And they are i, j, and k. And i is a unit vector in the direction of the x-axis, positive x. And then j is a unit vector in the direction of positive y-axis. And then k is a unit vector in the direction of the positive z-axis. And these three unit vectors are um, useful because basically uh, we can talk about any vector in 2D or 3D as a linear combination of scaled versions of these guys. I'll say what that means a little bit more if it sounded complicated. It's not, right? Uh, all I'm saying is that like uh, if we look at 2D first, then I is a unit vector that is a vector of length one in the direction of x and then j is a unit vector that is a vector of length one in the direction of y and so we can write any vector in 2d as um, some number multiplying i plus some other number multiplying j right any vector in 2d can be thought of in that manner um, a scaled version of i and of course if we multiply i by a negative number it will be pointing to the left and it will be as long as um, well, that negative number is absolute value, right? If we multiply i by a negative 3, for example, it'll point in this direction, uh, to the left, that is, and it will be of length 3 along uh, the negative x, right? Okay, all right. So because we could do that, right, which is multiply i and j not just by positive scalars but also by negative scalars, we can cover any um, vector in any of the uh, four quadrants and along the axes by, you know, uh, making i or j zero as we want right okay all right all right um so then with that said it means that the vector v here which we're used to writing in um column notation here uh can be written as negative three times i plus one times j and of course it doesn't make sense to have this one in front of the j so we could simply drop the one and write negative three i plus j and so then this here gives us a different kind of notation for vectors than the column notation that we're used to. I mentioned this different kind of notation that you see here at the end uh, in the very first video on uh, introduction to vectors. And I called it unit vector notation, which is what some books call it. So let's go with that. Uh, when you write a vector with i and j involved um, and k when you're in 3D, uh, then we call it unit vector uh, notation. All right. Okay, cool. So then uh, let's uh, look at what the visual would be for this vector. Well, we know that this vector v here is this guy. And visually, it makes perfect sense that it's negative 3 times i plus 1 times j because, well, negative 3 times i would be this vector here. And if we add this vector um, to uh, this uh, j vector right here, we would get the v vector. If you've watched my video on uh, vector arithmetic, this is a pretty simple example in vector arithmetic, right? So this is true. This vector v is accurately accurately represented by this, and so it makes sense to write it like this uh, if we don't want to write it as a column, right? All right, cool. So let's look at 3D, and we'll say we're, we're done with this video. So in 3D, all that would change is I would have um, i, j, and k, and of course the z axis is this vertical axis, X is coming at you like kind of out of the page and Y's, you know, left and right, right? And um, uh, I is still a unit vector in the direction of X. J is still a unit vector in the direction of Y. All well, that's new is K, a unit vector in the direction of Z. And so then we could write, for example, this um, vector V here in 3D um, as 2I minus K. Yeah? All right, cool. I'm done here and hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.